What's up everybody? Welcome back to a new POV video here on CCV at SMC. So today's video, we're getting into a 2013 BMW X3. So, you know, BMW has the X1, which is the small crossover vehicle, right? Then the X3, which is this right here. Then the X5, as you know, a little bit bigger. And I think they even have an X7, which is like the third row seater of the SUV. So they got a nice little setup there on the X series vehicles with BMW. Now, just to give you a idea, there is right there a BMW X1, which looks very similar to an X3. The X3 sits up a little bit higher and just a little bit bigger, but both are great vehicles. Now, this particular vehicle has the twin turbo engine with 240 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque, complementing the all-wheel drive that this vehicle provides. So we're gonna get in it, take it for a test drive, check it out, let you know the price, all that good stuff, because you know you might be interested in buying one from us. Here we go. everybody as always we take a look at the vehicle and check out the current condition of it here's the key to the car pretty good size key fob here it's got lock which is the blue BMW button unlock trunk release and alarm and if you actually press down somewhere in here you can pull an actual physical key out of it so let's go ahead and start looking at it now one thing I like about this particular car the white on a BMW is such a pure white and it always is just a nice bright colored color in the white silver is silver white is white black is black you know they're they're uh, they're just nice clean colors you know some companies put a lot of metallics and things like that in their paint to be able to kind of give the car the color but maybe kind of change it up a little bit depending on the sunlight but again this white is like pure white which i like anyways Go ahead and hop in real quick and crank her up then we're going to go back outside and let you see the lighting on the car um for a 13 model a few years old still absolutely beautiful i'm loving the display screen on the bmws how they're kind of like a widescreen setup of course you can use your uh your iDrive system here to hit buttons and control things and this is how you're going to actually put the car in drive neutral reverse sport mode and all of that we'll talk about all this a little bit more later and uh anyways this car has just around 49,441 on the mileage, so almost 500 miles shy of 50,000 miles on a 13. This is what we would consider to be low mileage on a used vehicle, okay? All right, whoa, hold on a minute. Let's make sure our headlights are on. I want you to see them because BMW has them. They, they got this look about them, right? A lot of us, I believe they call them angel eyes now, i don't know if bmw actually you know patented that name or or, or i don't know well, however you want to call it but anyways we always called them angel eyes the uh the, or the halos right but the circles there light up around those projectors and during the day or night they look really nice just to me it gives the car a little more character kind of makes it look alive which you can really see right now the kidney grill looks good now, condition-wise, the car's in great shape. You know, it doesn't really have any little pebble scratches or little chips from rocks or anything on the front. Very nice and clean. Uh, there's no dents on the car. There's no dings on the vehicle. There's no major scratches. I mean, it's just a nice, clean, used vehicle that's been well taken care of. 245.50 series tires by, um, let's see the name here. Well, I'm not familiar with that brand. I'm not even going to attempt to try to try to pronounce it, but C I N T U R A T O, something like that. But uh, they're 18 inch wheels, but tires knee deep in rubber. Good stuff. X drive. So that means it's all wheel drive. But 
but a very good looking car the x3 you know if it was driving down the road you might get it confused between an x1 or an x5 right right dab in the middle anyways pop this up well i think if the car's running maybe that doesn't actually pop open for safety pur purposes you know if you're at the mall or something you don't want somebody walking up popping your trunk open and stealing all your bags you just spend all that money on all that nice you know stuff that you bought right think about it anyways let's go ahead and uh unlock her and hit the power tailgate button and there we go a feature that everybody loves here in america the power tailgate makes life a little easier when your hands are full plenty of cargo space in the back as you can see we even got the little net right here also the back seats fold down for a 50 50 back seat split with a middle part that also folds down if you need to put some skis through there or rakes or shovels or whatever that may be or maybe you want to use it as an armrest so the kids can put the ipad down on there right or write down and do some homework all right go ahead and hit that little button drops that right on back down my voice just went into game show mode yeah the price is right anyways back up camera there's the phone number to call us all right guys let's take a look in the back seats then the front then the drive i know you're ready for it so you got these little blinds here they add a little more shade and a little more privacy for people sitting back here okay Again, you already got the tinted windows, but pull that up like that, and you're not going to be able to see in here as much. Privacy is important, and keeping the sun out of your kid's face, right? All right, I like this wood trim in here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Black with the silver. All the stitching looks nice. You can throw a bottle of water down in there. The leather's in great shape. Very clean. We got an armrest here. I mean, this car looks like it's hardly ever been even used. I mean, look how clean it is. Rear air vents. Also, you can change the temperature in the back, which is cool. Also has ambient lighting all over the place. Look at these two lights here, one there. So, I mean, at nighttime, it's going to be lit up really nicely in here. And then those beautiful panoramic glass sunroofs so everybody can enjoy these beautiful Carolina skies. There you go. So, all kind of little features. And you got the handles above every windowsill to grab onto if you're getting in and out. Believe me, those things come in handy. All right, guys, stay with us. Let's hop in the front and take her for a drive. Well, as long as you got your smart key in your hand or pocket or purse, just open the door and get in, right? One touch settings on all your windows, power mirrors, memory seats, power seats, lumbar, all that good stuff. Seats are in great shape. These are all things to pay attention to, you know? Right here is a, a on just about any car, this spot gets worn the most, and this one's still in pretty good condition. No rips or tears or anything like that. Again, 49,000 miles really makes the difference. All right. Another thing you want to pay attention to in a BMW is it should be quieter on the cabin. Hit the start button. There we go. Next service due in 9,000 miles. So we got fresh oil in this bad boy. All right. Everything's looking pretty good, right? Yeah, I'm liking it. Let's go ahead and put our seatbelt on. As I always tell you, I'm six foot one. Right around six foot though. I think I'm, I might be, might be getting a little shorter, you know? Gravity pulls down on us. I just talked about this in the last video. But uh, anyways, armrest, very clean, opens up. Got a little spot to throw a phone at, I guess. Anyways, you know, I always, I always now this is one thing about BMW I've always paid attention to, these things. like. When does anybody, well, I mean, what do you use this for? I have no idea. It does have a USB auxiliary and a 12 volt, but it's like, what is this for? I mean, what smartphone is that narrow? I just don't understand it. And like, I guess, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're plugging in some type of phone in the car that's not a smartphone, right? Maybe it's some kind of, I really don't know. You know, that's one of those things I want you, the commenter, to, to, to get in there and let me know, right? I don't know everything. I tell people that, you know? I don't, I try to know as much as I can about a car, and I'm learning more about cars, and, and, and especially uh, higher-end cars since I work here at Southern Motor Company, but I don't want to be a know-it-all. But I do try to pass on the best information I can about a car so you can make a good, informed buying decision. 
But if you know a little something that I don't know, that's what this is, is. It's a community. I try to tell everybody that. This is a community. And get in the comment section and share a little positive feedback with me, right? I'd like to learn a little something from you too. All right, that's what this is all about. And you know, that's one thing I've had other people that have actually met me in real life that follow me on YouTube have said, Chad, I really feel like we're friends. I feel like I know you. I, there's a different type of connection um, that I create on my channel here compared to other car video channels. So I think that's the connection, that I don't know everything and that I can ask y'all for a little feedback as well. It's a, it's a give and take type of thing here. So anyways, the sh engine just shut off on me, right? It's because it's got that start and stop engine feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my foot off the brake. She's back alive. You know, it's not really that big of a deal, that feature. Some people are like, man, I can't stand the auto start stop feature. But in reality, folks, if you just get comfortable with it and try it for a week or two, you know, or a couple days, you'll get used to it. And um, it actually saves on fuel consumption. Wow, engine feels good. Did I not already mention 240 horsepower and 260 foot-pounds of torque and all-wheel drive? Uh, yeah, this car's got some power and, uh, and it handles. And you can take it up to the mountains, to the beaches, to the city, whatever you wanna do. All right, here's a little look. Now I've taken the camera off my head for this video because I've noticed on some of the videos where the camera's strapped on my head, some of y'all are watching up here more than all of this. So I don't mind holding it. Eventually I will save up enough money because GoPro stuff is not cheap folks. And I'll buy a chest mount so the camera is more about right here. And I think that's probably a good angle for you if you're, um, you know, watching a car review. Cause my head is more towards the ceiling cause I'm a little taller. Anyways, big shout out to North Charleston Police Department, right? Keeping us safe. All right. What a beautiful little area here called Mixon. I mean, isn't it pretty? It really is. Now I can kind of imagine a car like this parked in this type of area you know it's just it's a bmw you know it deserves to sit with these cute little houses right does it i don't know i think a bmw though really it could be driven and put anywhere but all types of cars there's an old ford truck a honda civic a dodge charger and an acura rdx where's a little bmw's at i'll show you there's one or two of them right over here but a really nice little area to drive through, so I hope you're enjoying. You know, another thing, people say, oh, I just don't think I can buy a BMW. They're so expensive to work on and get serviced, right? Hey, now's the time to buy you a little house over here. I'm telling you, you want one of them little Charleston downtown type houses, here's your chance. But yeah, people are like, I'm not buying BMW. They expensive to maintenance on. I see a few of y'all commenting when I do these videos. You know, BMW, they're expensive. Yes, they are expensive. They're more expensive than your traditional Chevy Traverse, you know. But you got to realize, folks, at the end of the day, if you want to own a car like this and have something maybe a little different than the next, you know, you got to pay to play. But who's to say that parts aren't expensive on that Chevy Tahoe, right? Again, all depends on what you're replacing and what you're fixing. That's what it all depends on. All right, let's uh, let's give it a little gas. Let's see what this little little 240 can do. 240 horsepower. Well, I can't really give it much gas in here. There's people. They're having like a little open house over here today, you know? Look at the balloons, they're so cute. Come and shop at Mixon. <laughs> yeah, they're doing the best they can to clean this whole area up out here. It's a nice little spot to live at though. But you're real close to Park Circle. You're close to hitting downtown there, hit the interstate. So it's actually really a good location right here um, to live at it. Seriously, if you're coming to Charleston, because we know a lot of y'all are moving to Charleston due to Boeing being here and, and Volvo and all these big 
Mercedes, all these big car and plane manufacturers, a lot of people moving here. Come check out that little area, seriously. I bet the people at Mixon don't even realize how many times I'm selling, trying to sell people on buying a house or a townhouse or renting something out over there. But anyways, but the main deal is come and get a car from me. Anyways, I love chit-chatting with you down the road. I was watching another channel on YouTube a few nights ago where the guy kind of does videos like this, um, sitting in the cars and driving. Now, the guy's got 300,000, 700,000, 2 million, crazy amount of views on his videos. He's very lucky to be able to film uh, 2021 Mercedes S550s and things like that, right? He lives over in Europe somewhere. But the only thing I noticed is that um, he just doesn't talk a whole lot. So maybe my talking is causing people not to watch. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I like to have a little fun. You know, it is about the car at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, I always will continue to say people buy from people. If you like this BMW X, three that I have and you think it's an attractive car, a good car and a good price, right? And you like me, well, we might be able to make a little business happen. So that's what it's all about at the end of the day. I'm a car salesman and uh, that's the difference in me versus other YouTubers out there. They're not necessarily selling the cars. I'm selling the cars. All right, guys, anyways, let's wait for this light to turn and let's give this puppy some gas and go over these railroad tracks and see how she feels. Light is green, let's go. All right, let's hit it, here we go. Over the railroad track. Man, that felt nice. Suspension feels good, pickup is good, and I feel safe. And there's another Beamer coming down the road right now. They're good looking cars, they really are. I'm liking BMW, they are really some sweet looking rides. All right everybody, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video with me. I hope you like Mr. Chad, because Mr. Chad's trying to do the best he can. But let me tell you folks, as you can see in our parking lot over here, we got some nice looking cars. And boy oh boy, we got some Jeeps right now. Boy, look at them, we got five, six of them out here. And all kinds of other cars. So come and see me, give me a call at 843-277-2983. I'd love to do some business with you, but at the end of the day, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the review, and please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon.